I, I'm, I'm already lost myself. Wait, no, I'm going the right way. All right, so go down here, and we're actually going to meet another digger. Let's get their attention. I'm making a silly noise. Fine. I'll talk to you then. Trap? What kind of trap? It's up ahead. You get close and rocks start to fall from the ceiling. You can't get through. Why don't you push the switch? That's how you turn traps off. So innocent. Huh? I know that. What do you think I am? Some kind of idiot? You trying to pick a fight or something? I'll win. I know the switch is around here somewhere, but I can't get close to it because of the trap. Sounds like you've got a problem. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Go on. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yes, ma'am. She is quite powerful, that Kim Roberts, who voices her. So, the trap is over here, and it is rocks falling, as you can see. You can time it just fine to get in between of it for the Finkel. And meanwhile, my serve bots are getting their heads crushed. And there is the switch right there, so go and get it and push it. Thank you. Go to the end, and we have ourselves another card key. So, let's grab it. Alright, so, we got ourselves a card key, so, let's see if that lady is still any angry about anything. Meanwhile, idiot. We got the card key. What's that? You say you cleared the trap? Well, what was on the other side? A card key for a treasure box. A card key? No! Huh? What? What? What do you think you're doing? You can't give that away! I'm just kidding. Sorry. You can't give this to you. Huh? You lads be a little strange. Well, don't matter. I'll get the next one. I'll get it next time. <laughs> that was so adorable. They were actually going to give it to her. Uh, I love how innocent the serve bots are. They're just so adorable. But go up over here, and we have ourselves another locked chest. So let's open it up. So let's open it up. And what is going to be on the inside? Alright, so, we got ourselves a room key. You're gonna need that in order to finish this mission. I know the game doesn't really tell you, but for the most part in this RPG, they're pretty much telling you, go everywhere you can. And just for simplicity's sake... There we go. I always have to remember, I am evil, despite the fact that, you know, I'm with these adorable little serve bots. It's a cute type of evil. Very cute. But let's go inside right here to the last part of these ruins and go over here to some writing on the wall. Hmm, what's this? Yay! Look, there's some writing here. Whoa, this is one of Uncle Dig's tips. What's that? There's this really old, really famous digger named Dig, see? He writes messages for other diggers whenever he's exploring to help them out. So, what's it say? What does it say? Let's take a look. 
Let's see. Uncle Diggs tips. In these caves. It appears there is another treasure besides the Aurora Stones. It's called the Elixir of Youth. There's very little data, but it has something to do with collecting three kinds of crystals. And one of those crystals is in this room. Elixir of Youth? What's that supposed to be? This is incredible. He must be talking about the secret of eternal youth. There's the crystal. What should we do, Mr. Tron? Well, we might as well pick one up and take it back with us. All right, we'll get one. I got one too. Wow, the elixir of youth. I have to find the other two crystals. Something tells me we'll need our help. Probably. Oh, yeah, let's So, it wouldn't be an RPG without side quests. Yes, that is actually a side quest that is available inside of this set of missions. You're going to have to find all three crystals to be able to find it. It's different from the Aurora Stones, and this is entirely missable. I need to stress this enough, because on my first ever playthrough, I missed it. You're going to have to find in each one of the digouts, Uncle Dig's Tips. By the way, nice name. Uncle Dig. I get it. But if you miss one, you're pretty much locked out of that side of quest entirely. Because there is no way of going back to a mission once you complete the three main parts of that mission inside the game, unfortunately. Anyway, keep hitting this. And it blew up. That's one thing I was trying to avoid saying. Because I mentioned earlier that some of them explode. They go kaboom. But let's finish up this, shall we? Hmm. Looks like we got Reaver bots here. Go. And let's throw another one. It always pays off to have one serve bot that has a actual weapon with you. So then you can actually destroy them. Otherwise, if you constantly ram them with the Finkel, they're pretty much indestructible. Have one that has a bomb. It'll help out. So let's keep going. What's happening? What is this? God, my serve bots are distorting. You guys are staring right at it. Please push it. Wait, really? You want me to beacon bomb this? Great. Sweet, I got it my first try. Oh, that could be so annoying. You know, I'm surprised that none of the people around me are questioning who this Mistron is or who this flying pig belongs to. But, here we are at the end of the ruins, ladies and gentlemen. With a door. So, we're going to have to use our room key for it. Tron, the door's locked! Should we use the room key to open it? Yes, use the key. I wonder what's inside. And, they do a little cute little totem pole thing that's adorable. Door opens up. It's open. All right, let's go. Wait. Huh? Huh? Who are you? My name is Pearl. I'm looking for the Aurora Stones. Are you? Yes, we are too. inside this room, but... What? Inside here? Well then, what are we waiting for? Huh? Wait! Well, somebody's not smart! We're in trouble. It's a Reaver bot. It's a big one. I mean, really big. Can I finish now? I was going to tell you that it sounds like there might be a Reaver bot. Oh, 
Uh oh. Yes, Miss Tron. Face certain doom at a Reaverbot, or end up, you know, staying alive and facing Miss Tron's punishment. Well, uh, that's pretty obvious. But what about you, Miss Peril? How dare you insult them! How dare you! I will show you! I will take on this Reaverbot just fine! And it's a familiar one, ladies and gentlemen! Look at the size of it! We can't beat that! How many Hammeru dolls did they make? Think! Use your heads! Look! See those fire traps all over the floor? You can use those to beat it! All right, so we have to fight a Hammeru doll. Let's see if we can throw something at it. Nope, okay. So let's hit the switch. What'll happen is it'll get pissed and rightfully come after us and just pretty much lure it into the other traps. Although I don't remember the Hammeru doll, you know, doing more than one. Oh, looks like he threw the bomb at him, wow. But pretty much, Keep on hitting it, and the Hammeru doll will hit the buttons on the fire traps and hurt himself. Lather, rinse, repeat. The Hammeru doll is not the brightest of uh, Reaver bots. And as you can see, by the fact it killed itself. Kind of lessens the impact of that Legends 1 boss. Those things aren't that smart. How many of them did they make? But you beat him. And once you do... The first of the Aurora Stones falls down. Wait a minute. Hmm, something's telling me I'm going to be seeing a trend with these Aurora Stones. And it sounds to the tune of reusing assets. Although with more translucency, I might add. I'll get the name changing papers! I better get the name changing papers for dance. Uh, but that Pearl character, yeah, she seems to be trying to be a shyster on me. Don't con my serve bots, my pretty. But we got the blue Aurora Stone and we're able to sell it for 50,000 zenny. And we got ourselves the E-Bottle. Even though it says we got the blue crystal, it's going to stay in our inventory. Just like Legends 1. And Servbot 6's brain ratings is now 2. As is 4's. And 19's is now 4. And we got a Riot Shield. A fish. And a tire. Two of those are actually good for uh, allowing us to be able to De lower development costs. And a new training room is ready to use. That is our new speed mini game. So, that is the end of the report. There we go. And so now, we actually have access to a new type of training, which I'm going to show off, and then I'm going to end off the episode. This is the last type of training that you will have inside the game, which is why I totally went to the wrong room. We have to go to the gym.
Silly me. Why did I go to meeting room? Our new type of training is course two. This is a speed course designed specifically to increase one's speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the speed of Surbot number three. I will say this one. This minigame is not based on RNG like the attack minigame is. This one's based more on your reflexes, which can be kind of difficult. Basically, what are the rules? Let's hear them right now. In this game, you have to hand out food to all the waiting serve bots. Each serve bot's order will be shown at the bottom of the screen. They'll also say which one it is, and you can't memorize it based on how the voice is for it because they ended up having the serve bot actors say different lines for each one. So it's random for what you're going to get, but this one's more doable than, say, the attacking minigame. If you can give each Surbot his food within the time limit, you clear the round. Each level is made up of three rounds, and if you clear a level, the speed rating of the Surbot playing will go up by one point. Good luck. And you can see our commands at the bottom. A lunch is up plus A. You have to hit them at the same time. B lunch is uh, left plus A. C lunch down plus circle. Why was I saying A this entire time? And D lunch is right and circle. Curry rice is triangle, and spaghetti is square. So, let's show off what it's like. Each day as it increases, there will be more serve bots, but the time will always be the same. And the time is... 36 seconds. That's what happens when you screw up. And there you go. Pretty much, you just have to be fast enough on your reflexes to do it. It's doable, but as it gets harder, it can be a little bit difficult if you screw up. And you don't have to worry. You're always going to have 36 seconds to do it. It's just the serve bots that increase. And the maximum serve bots, by the time you get to the third round of like getting to your max at speed rating, would be 36. It's doable. I've done it before. It just hurts your hands for how long it takes. So let's see day two now. You have 36 seconds to serve 30 serve bots. You also have to remember that this serve bot right here, he's trying to get his speed rating to three. Dang it, I'm screwing up too much. There we go. So one more, and he will increase up to three. I think I probably screwed up too much. Dang it. I screwed up too much. Yeah, I screwed up too much. Ah. Well, we can see what happens when they get angry. You can see they all get the angry face and do a little dance. So, pretty much... What you have to do is you have to retry if you fail. You don't have to start the entire round over. You start at the round that you were currently on. I do need to mention this, though, and it's a good thing I failed. If you decided, okay, I just don't want to do this anymore, and you hit no, when you restart this minigame with this serve bot, you're going to have to start from round one and day one. So keep that in mind. Spaghetti. D lunch. A lunch. C lunch. A lunch. A lunch. Curry rice. Spaghetti. 
There we go. And your speed rating is now three. So this ends the training session, and we are done. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. I'm going to be spending some time raising up some money inside the Nakai Ruins, as well as raising up some brains and some speed ratings of all my characters, so that I can unlock some special abilities. See you all next time.